Okay, so here we have a very little stubble field battery with a green secondary on it. And not only that, there are two extra wound, separately wound secondaries, and I think they're functioning here. Um, in addition, so the secondary is attached to the probes of the scope. So you can see there's nothing happening right now. Scope's on, but nothing else is on. So now these, this green wire and this other green wire are the wires that I intended to connect directly to this little jewel thief. But yesterday I was set up, I was right where we are right now, and discovered that when I put the jewel thief battery on, the scope started to react. And here it is, reacting again. Uh, I want to make it so you can see this. So at the moment, this is reading 102 millivolts, um, peak to peak. It's very complicated way because there are lots of inductors in that. I assume it's because there are lots of inductors in this. There are four extra inductors in addition to the jewel thief. So the jewel thief is there. That's the jewel thief. And it runs secondary, two secondaries. One secondary is running this set of lights using this inductor additionally. And then I've been playing around with another another inductor based secondary. Here's a secondary that I split. It's got four lights on it and three inductors boosting the power. So I have no idea how much of any of this is affecting this scope reading. However, something is. Or maybe it's all of them all together. Look at that.